loves, welcome back to the channel or welcome in if this is your first time visiting this channel. Welcome. I hope you guys make yourselves comfortable here. Y'all, let's go ahead and jump into this read. Now, this block of readings is going to come through a little different, okay? Today is uh, August the 12th. It's Monday. Then I'm going to go ahead and record these reads, all right? So um, I have about 12 or 13 reads that I need to record. I'm probably going to do half of them today, and then I'll come back later and drop the other half or however. But they'll reach you guys when the time is right, okay? Speaking of the right timing, y'all, next year, let me just kind of talk for just a minute about next year, because next year is going to be all about um, divine timing, okay? 2025 is going to be a year where you're going to see um, God prove that it is his time, not our own and not anyone else's that, um, matters. Okay. So God's timing, I feel like will be very significant in the year of 2025, which we are very quickly approaching y'all. It's going to be here before we know it. Right. All right, you guys. So the title of this read is going to be look with the eyes of your heart. Now, when I did choose to look with the eyes of my heart instead of my third eye, instead of my two eyes on my face, um, and I looked from my heart center, God began to show me um, a series of things, okay? <laughs> Excuse me, confirmation. I feel like he will do the same for you all, okay? So for this particular read, you guys, um, I'm going to explain to you a vision that God gave me, all right? I'm hearing that this is a prophetic vision, um, but I'm going to give you the vision and then you guys just kind of interpret it the way that you see fit for your lives, right? Okay, so he showed me a colony of people and this colony of people, they were all working together. Um, no one person better than the next. They were all there working amongst each other. This colony of people was all helping each other. They were helping each other lift, build, and carry items like wood in particular. Wood stuck out to me, right? So some of these people, they were tall, some of them slim, some of them short, some of them round, but all pulling their own weight, all equally strong, all equally powerful, Next, I began to sense that someone I knew was amongst this colony, amongst these villagers. So in my vision, I started to look around. I'm like, well, who is this that I know here? And it's like I was, I was drawn to the person that I knew that was in this colony of people. I went right to them. I looked around, I found them, and my eyes met a familiar face. As I was drawn to this familiar face, the closer I got, I realized that it was my grandmother. Ancestor energy is in the building, okay? Now, I rushed over to her in this vision, and it was crazy because this vision, it actually felt like something that was taking place maybe in another dimension, in another time period, right? Because it felt so real. But I rushed over to her, and she, with excitement, dropped the items that she had in her hands, and she embraced me with a hug. Y'all, some of y'all grandmas gave the best hug, okay? I know my grandmother did. Mama did, okay? Now, she then raised one hand in the air. She drew the attention of the other, other villagers, and she shouted, look, y'all, my baby made it. She's here. She's here, and she was pointing at me, and I was standing there just a smiling, a little embarrassed, <laughs> but I was smiling. Now, as she did this, out of nowhere, y'all, somebody tossed her, and I don't even know from where. It was from a distance, and they just tossed her a set of keys. Now, as she received the set of keys in her hand, and she caught them, <laughs> My mama had, my grandma had hands, okay? She caught them and she handed me the keys. As she did, I asked her, my dear, 
what are these keys for? She said, these keys unlock your heart. As she said this, she was drawing an imaginary circle around me. I smiled, I thanked her, and then I returned to my physical body. So this is the message that I have for y'all today. Once again, I'm going to let you guys interpret this in the way that resonates with your soul. But this is the vision that God gave me to share with you all. And I'll be doing that for the next probably five to six readings. I hope that you guys enjoyed this message, my loves. And I can't wait to see or hear about your guys' interpretation of this vision. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next read. Have a great day.